And I really love digging fossils. And for a guy like me, this place is fabulous. The last month has been just magic. We've been digging fossils and finding fossils every single day, and we're finding amazing things. It all started off on October 14th with the discovery of a juvenile mammoth, which is in the tent behind me. We sent museum staff members up here on the 20th of October. Then I came up myself on the 27th, and we inspected the site and found there was more than a mammoth site. We also found bones of mastodon. That really got us excited, and we sent a crew up the next day. By the time the museum deployed its forces on November 2nd, this site had turned into a multi-animal, multi-locality dig. We've been finding the remains of mammoth, mastodon, bison, ground sloth, deer, and small animals like salamanders and rodents. In addition to that, we're finding fossil plants, giant trees, pine cones, beaver chewed sticks, fossil pollen, fossil leaves, a really cool assemblage of organisms that tells us what this part of Colorado was like more than 40,000 years ago. So now it's time to wrap the dig up. We're going to take the bones of that young mammoth out of the tent over the next couple of days. We're doing a very careful job of documenting the position of the bones so we can reconstruct their actual, the way they lay in the ground. And we'll pull them out one by one, wrap them carefully, and by the end of tomorrow we'll have that mammoth out of the tent. The tent will come down. We'll finish digging the bones here. And then we're going to head back to Denver and start the long process of working in the lab and figuring out what exactly this fauna was doing at this high elevation more than 40,000 years ago in the Colorado Rockies. Even though we're leaving the field right now, we're still going to be working on this site. We've collected lots of samples, we're doing lots of analyses, and we'll be posting those results on the museum's website at www.dmns.org.